Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, what we have this week is... The Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords. No major arcana here. So it says that the energy is really about what you make it or, or what you do or what you don't do. Um, it looks like somebody wants to resurface or someone has resurfaced or feelings have resurfaced to you or maybe for someone else, or it's mutual. Um, but it's causing a bit of, you know, concern. Uh, this is a situation where you feel like you want to give it a lot of uh, consideration. You, you got to consider what this is um, and what does it mean for you to go backwards because it looks like with the um, Eight of Pentacles showing up at the bottom of the deck, this was a cyclical relationship. I mean, um, it could have been periods of where you guys were hot and it was on, it was intense. And then there are periods in this connection where there's nothing, there is inactivity, there's disconnection, there's waiting, there is one person pining over the other person um, but doing nothing in order to get them back taking a passive approach because I think you both have grown to understand the relationship to be one that is off and on high and cold up and down but I think the nature of, of this relationship is, is causing either you Aquarius or the other person to have a bit of anxiety I don't know if I could do another cycle, is what someone is saying. I don't know if I can do another intense, we're in love, we're in strong like, or whatever you want to call it, and then nothing. And then we break up, and then there's a breakdown. There's definitely somebody here wanting to um, heal the severed tie, you know, the both of you went your own way. There's somebody here who is seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship now, which is maybe not what they were doing in the past. There's someone here who is saying, let's let bygones be bygones. Let's come back together. Let's make it work. Our relationship is built on, you know, platonic first, and then it's contractual. Which would equal marriage? Some of you are married to this person or were married. Some of you, this person wants to marry you or you them or it was mutual. It says that this is or can be has the capacity to be a successful relationship. It definitely is now where you guys are at a place of there is no action. There has been a period of inaction, maybe nine months nine weeks, um, seven weeks, seven months, I don't know, seven days, there is a period where you guys have not communicated, have not been in communication. It seems as if you're frustrated, the other person is frustrated with the way the relationship is panning out, but the both of you are willing to give it another go or to see this through to the end. This is not the end. It's just a. It's not finality. It's not final. And I think the both of you are wondering. What it? What is the finality of this? Is it the ten of swords? Is it the ten of cups? Is it the ten of pentacles? What? When are we going to get to some completion? Because this. Off and on, hot and cold, stop, start, leave me alone, I don't want to talk to you, and then we're back together in a month or two months or whatever. 
it's it's not good for you it's not good for the other person involved somebody also feels like I'm more invested in the connection or there's somebody who loves the other person more than they love um, there's an inequality of love somebody loves more than the other somebody's willing to put the work in this somebody's also saying I don't have time for love I'm focused on my business my work my work ethic I'm trying to see something grow something get to self-sustaining um, sorry that's the washer all right and there we go um, I'm trying to see something get to a self-sustaining energy and that could be for my entrepreneurs maybe you have started something new or you you are trying to start something but this is an energy where um, it's all on you no major arcana do you let this person come back do you want them to come back is it too much is it will it cause too much um, turmoil in your life for you will it upset you emotionally will it upset you all together it says that somebody's been doing something over and over and it could be that once again this relationship over and over the same thing this person could be thinking about you over and over and this is why maybe they um, are manifesting in your energy or vice versa this is what you're doing Aquarius there's some self pleasure also that someone is doing in terms of bringing the other person back that's coming up um, Somebody feels like they they seven of pentacles. They made an investment in you or on you, or there is an investment made of time, energy, and or money, and they want to see a return. They want their investment to return. They want to see the relationship go to fruition, whatever it may be. They just feel they just feel like it's not over, or you feel like it's not over. The signs I have here, Taurus, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo. If this is your reading, meet me in the extended where we'll talk about um, the best advice for you in terms of should you let this person back in? Is this another cycle? What's the completion? Because we know that this is not the, the final destination of the relationship. And what's this person's next action? Completion. This person's next action. Yeah. And your best advice. All right, so Aquarius, all links are below. If you want to get in contact with me, if you want to get the extended reading, the link is below. Also, you can donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. You could ask a question or two if you want the energy relative to you. Um, should I let this person back in? What should I do? Um, should I just focus on me, my business, my work? You can ask that question by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.